Uh, let's move on yeah. to UMass. Uh, I think I know what Please. UMass's record is going to be now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. UMass hired Don Brown, who was the defensive coordinator at Michigan. And Don Brown, um, I don't – look, I don't know what he's going to be as a head coach. He's an older guy. Uh, they went 1-11 last year. Post game win expectancy was not that much different. 1.34, 10.66. They're not good. Roster strength right now is number 121. But as far as returning production goes, they're number six in the country. That's pretty good. 80% of their returning production is coming back. Um, they brought in eight defensive transfers, six of them from, uh, from P5 schools. Like, it's going to take a bit to get acclimated, but they absolutely had to have something to improve because they were number 128 in defensive PPA per drive. The offense was not much better. Uh, they were dead last in the country in PPA margin and net points per drive. Like, they were not good. Uh, they brought in 14 total transfers. Like, you got to figure, like, they'll be able to develop chemistry fairly quickly because I imagine all of them will be playing. Um, you know, how quickly can they pick up Don Brown schemes? Like, I, I've got them at 2-10. and 10. Um you know, like I, there's just not a lot to look for this season. Again, I think this is another one of those where you brought in a pretty well-known coach, and it's going to take some time to build a culture there. You you feel the same on it? No, I don't. I don't think that's true for either one of these programs. By the way, for for neither your statement for the exact same thing for New Mexico State. Like there's there's no culture that's going to be built there. Like they're just going to be bad. Hey, you you may be onto something. Like I, I think I'm what you're trying to do, it, they're they're trying to build some kind of a culture, uh, whether or not it's possible. Now that's a whole different story. I I don't know Hang that on, it but is. But I need all right, all right. Who's they? The head coaches? Yeah, the head coaches are only there trying to show. Hey, if I can show any improvement at all, I can get a head coaching job somewhere else, and then I'm on the first thing smoking away. It's not the athletic department. It's not the boosters at either of these places. It's not the fans. They're not trying to win it. Put it together a winning culture. They don't put any money into these programs at all. Are you, are we sure that these are the two coaches that are going to be like leaving for other jobs? Like I well, if hey, if they're successful at all, yes. I, maybe okay, yeah, I can. If they're not, then they're just going to stay there. But they're not building any those programs, and I'm talking about the administration that runs them, where the money is going. They're not putting money into football. They're not building anything. No, no, you're you're not wrong. Uh, Don Brown is no. 66 years old. Jerry Kill is. This 60. team's gonna win. So this team's gonna win one game, maybe, maybe win one game, and they're gonna struggle really hard in every game to put any points up at all. So you you've got UMass at one and eleven. I take that. Um, you, yeah, one and eleven. Yeah, yeah. I I've got them two and ten. Uh, I've got them beating New Mexico State. Um, but again, anything's possible here, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think you're necessarily wrong. Like, yeah, if they, if they show any kind of improvement and somebody offers them another gig, yeah, they'll probably get out of there. Um, I just don't. Well, and even if they don't, but like, here's the deal. Nobody's building anything. Like this idea that these, these programs are trying to get better at football. They're not. The coaches are. The coaches want to be better. They don't want to coach teams in the toilet. But I think these, this is what I was talking about earlier when I talked about guys just want to be head coaches, okay? Nobody would choose to be a head coach here over being a DC or an OC somewhere else at a winning program unless they just really care about being a head coach. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.